look at the problem of Nigeria, they teach us about faith. They teach us about hard work. But most of them don't tell us how to engage. The rules of engagement. Hello? Prayer is good. Fasting is good. Church services are good. Fellowships are wonderful. But when you are done with all that, go and look for what to do. The prayer you prayed and the fasting you did will now empower what you are about to do. Uh, when people are idle and they pray only prayers, the Bible calls them foolish people. It amounts to foolishness. Listen, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sows, he will reap. If you fast too much and pray too much, you become very spiritual, but hunger can kill you. You must play your role. You must do your part. It's like a graduate who said, I don't have a job in Nigeria. We need to bring you out and give you thorough beating. Graduates should not look for job in Nigeria. This is underdeveloped country. Help in the development by learning a skill. Stop looking for job. Become the job. Our problem is pride, unnecessary arrogance, and laziness. Can't you start by learning how to fix tiles? How to fix POP? Can't you start by learning, you know, how to, how to cut clothes and sew suits? Can't, I don't know the kind of system we run in education nowadays because when I was in the primary school, there is, on every Thursday, they teach us handcraft. I learned it when I was small. And I communicate in here. We learned electricity, how to wire. We learned carpentry and joining, how to plane wood. I don't know how many of you that, that learned that. We learned how to make baskets and brooms. They even taught us how to, I learned how to weld in primary six. I can weld. Welding and joining was taught me in primary six in our handicraft center. In my village where I did my primary school, my primary five teacher taught us how to make um, this pullover. You know this pullover we used to wear? That sweater we used to knead, kneading, we were taught. Most of the girls in primary five were taught how to cut clothes and sew. It was part of our primary education. So somebody is leaving primary six. He didn't go to school again, but he can feed himself comfortably. This system of everything, certification, certification, doesn't work. Africans, that is the deception from the Western world. Why you learn what you learn in the university? Learn a skill that will help you stand your ground when you graduate. You could be a lawyer or an accountant or whatever you have become in the university. There should be another skill that could help you in case you don't find a white collar job. But what am I trying to say? Our problem in Africa is that you just want to be... Who told you that you went to the university to become one thing? In Igbo, university is called Mahadum, Marahadum. You went there to be exposed to the possibilities within your personality so that you can be inexhaustibly engaged when you graduate. My concern is that the principle that provoked the counsel of God said, after you must have prayed and fasted and trusted God, engage your hands. Say, engage your hands. Do something. How can they hold me say banana? He said, I can they hold me say granite? Man of God, uh, uh, I'm a I do have masters in, in banking. All right, on the bank. Will you now die because you have masters in banking? I have masters at that. Why not engage in something with your life? Am I communicating here? Somebody who became born again today. You want to be a world preacher tomorrow. It doesn't happen like that. You must go through discipleship. Mentoring. Training. Am I communicating here? It doesn't just happen. This principle of get it quick is not from God. The need for patience is important. After you must have done the will of God, you must be patient. Touch your devil and say, getting it quick. Quick, 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 quick. It's not the will of God. It's not. The children don't want to go through processes. They want to become billionaires overnight. On a man, any wealth you got by evil way will disappear in the afternoon of your life. For he that increases by labor shall be established. Ego Juloi now lasts. Am I communicating in this house? I'm in a hurry. My men 
cats are blinding cats. Take your time. That is why you carry your car to a vulcanizer. He will destroy the vehicle. Because he didn't take time to sit down and learn under tutelage until he was made free. Come out case apart, it's your mama. Or do you also your leg. He was not well trained. He was not well chiseled. He was not properly mentored. And it's a problem. People are in a hurry to become. But the principle that we bring the counsel of God to bear on your life, you must play your role by trusting in God and giving fear, reverence unto him, and then do your part by engaging your hands. For he that does not walk, let him not eat.